Grandpa, what's a tree? I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Trees, my boy, were a magical thing. Would you believe me if I told you that these would give us loads of free oxygen in exchange for just some water and sunlight? And we didn't even have to wear these respirators to breathe. Not only that, but they'd also give us food, shade, and flowers, and not these fake synthetic flowers that we have today. Trees were truly amazing things. Oh, Grandpa, what are you even saying? Such things surely can't be real. <laughs> My boy, trees were real, as real as you and I. Really? Yep. So what happened? Where did the trees go? <sighs> we humans happened. We mercilessly kept chopping up the trees that Mother Earth gave us. There were some of us who protested against this inhumane act, but they shut them up. They shunned them. But there has to be somewhere where they started from. Yes. It all began in the year 1712, with the invention of the first steam engine. Humans thought they were advancing into a new age, but little did they know they were only pushing themselves down a deadly path. Then what happened? It was all downhill from there. Soon, everyone started buying themselves steam-powered gadgets and gizmos, burning any and every piece of coal and wood that they could get their greedy little hands on, spreading so much pollution. But didn't those people know that it was bad for the world? They did, but they simply did not care. They did not care at all. And it was this lack of care that drove these people even further. They started building huge factories and power plants, dumping all their toxic chemical waste into the ocean, their solid waste onto the land, and their harmful gas into the air, slowly but surely killing any and everything around them. But aren't these power plants good for us? All these people, the rich people, are they not good people? <laughs> oh, my boy, they're not. The power plants were supposed to be good. But sadly, the power went into the wrong hands, and instead of becoming the good, clean solution we needed, it became a way for the rich to get even richer. There were some of us who were truly trying to fix the breaking earth, but alas, the higher corporations working twice as hard to pollute these areas, cut every damn tree, and pave the path to our destruction. With these people working so hard, how could we have saved what was already crumbling, what was already broken beyond repair? So, is there nothing we can do now? There is one thing we can do. Hand me that box. You can only wipe our tears and try to survive in this dying carcass that we call our planet. That is the only thing that we can do anymore. We managed to break our planet, break it beyond repair, only taking and never giving back. We have eternally doomed ourselves and any coming generation to forever breathe in lies and suffer in the constructs of our greed and carelessness. But there's still time for your planet. Don't make the same mistakes we have. Don't push yourselves into a void of pain and darkness. Save our planet. Save yourselves and make it the utopia we always dreamed of instead of this hell that we have been subjected to.
Grandpa? Are you I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.